Hey again, Calvin Keenan with Streamline Gaming here. And last video, we went over how to set our units to inches, along with using the page directive to set up our page so that we would print nine cards to a page without using the zoom. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the print directive to um, print only certain cards, along with how to print um, the card backs on all of your cards. So to get started, uh, let's start by entering the print directive here at the bottom of the screen. So when we add the print directive, it asks for us to input a range. Now, the best way for me to explain what a range is is by just showing you. But basically, it's what cards do you want to print. So let's say you have 100 cards, but you only want to print cards 4 through 7. You can come into the print directive and 4 through 7 will be your range, and that will tell Nandek to print only cards 4 through 7. So we add that and left-click validate, left-click build, and then left-click print to see cards 4 through 7. Another way to use a range is say we want cards 2, 7, and 9. We can come in here and do 2, 7, 9. Now, if you use the commas, you need to add quotation marks around the, the range. Uh, that tells Nandek that all of this is one range. Otherwise, Nandek will think this is your range, and these next two numbers are for the next part of the code, and that's not what you want, because you want all of this to be a range. So, we put quotation marks around that, left-click validate, left-click build, and then when we go to print, we can see that it printed cards 2, 7, and 9. And also to check that, we can go over to card preview, and it's printing card 2, 7, and 9. There's one other way to use, the, use a range for your print directive. You can uh, type in a number that you want to start with, and then do the number sign and however many cards you want to print out. So let's say I want the next two cards starting with number three to print. So I want three and four. So that's the next two cards. So we left click validate, left click build, and print deck. And you can see there's two cards, number three and four. So it started with the number three card and printed two cards. And lastly, you can use all three of these methods at once. So let's say you want to print card one, you want to print card three and four, so you can do three, the next two starting with three. You want to print the six through eight card, and the ninth card. You can do all of these methods together. Just remember if you're using commas, add quotation marks around your range. And we use commas, so we're going to use quotation marks around a range. Left click validate, left click build. And what this should do is print off card one. So let me go to the beginning. It printed off one, three, and four, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you can make this as complex or as simple as you want. I just wanted to show you the three ways to use the range function in, in, your, in your print directive. There are several directives that use ranges. So anytime you see the word range down here, just remember that's what it's asking for. It's what number of cards do you want to execute this line of code on. And now I want to show you how to print the card backs and Nandek makes this really easy for us. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we need to add a duplex directive up here. And then we have to enter two ranges. The first range is what cards you want to print on the back of. So in this case, I'm going to print on all of our cards, which is cards 1 through 9, because that's how many cards I have. And the second range is what cards, what card or cards do you want um, the 
back of your card to look like. So let's say I'm going to make it simple. And our ninth card is going to be printed on the back of all of our cards as well. After you set up your duplex directive, you need to come into the print directive and type in duplex. And that, that lets Nandek know that this is a duplex print job and it's going to be printing on the back of your cards, which we set up in our duplex directive. So validate, build, and now when we go to print, Nandek printed cards one through nine on the front and on the back of the cards, it printed the ninth card, which I specified in the range, the second range on the duplex directive. Now I could have said print the eighth card on the back and it would have printed the eighth. I can also say print the eighth and the ninth card. Again, this is a range. I'm using a comma in my range, so I need to add quotation marks around it. Validate and build. I just want to show you real quick what what it does whenever you use two cards to print on the back. What it does is it alternates the eighth card and then the ninth card, eighth card, ninth card, and so on. And again, you can make this as complex as you want. Typically, you just want one card, the card back on each of your cards, but that's how you, you would do that if you would like. Thanks for watching this video. I would like to show you a quick preview of what you're going to learn in the next and final video in this series. And what you're going to be learning is how to add mana cost symbols or resource cost symbols, whatever you want to call them, into your cards like you can see up here. So I'll see you in the next and final video and good luck making your game.